Hello, my beautiful people. Have I annoyed you enough by calling you that repeatedly? Beautiful. Okay, so just a little update on some upcoming shows I'm going to be throwing in here on in addition to the ones that I have been talking about, which is Abandonment, The Soul's Journey, and there was something else. Uh, but before I forget, the one that sneaked its way up on me <laughs> is a conversation that I had with my acquaintance slash friend. She has been come that she has become over the past, I don't even know, five or six years. So if you do want to hear more about the show, I am going to be putting it up probably tomorrow or the next day. Today's Valentine's Day. It was a fun day. We don't usually ce celebrate here too much in the household, but I'm um, just doing little stupid stuff and like getting ice cream and things like that that are, you know, easy, am simple amusements. So in the next couple of days, you can go ahead and be looking out for it for that and that will be a longer episode that's going to involve some coaching okay so that is i'll tell you okay i'll tell you about that now and then the second part is hopefully because again this is uh an episode that has not been written down and if i forget what i'm going to talk about i'll just have to re-record it again that i was going to also uh i've been wanting to do this for a while doing a little segment on dating tips um, no, thing you know, totally different to talk about, even though it's within my wheelhouse of just things I talk about in general. I just don't. Okay, for are in that dating that is, and uh, okay, so let's back it up and say so. This show is going to be about why it's, I'm really excited about it for a lot of different reasons, but basically, uh, to briefly summarize. We were talking, my friend and I, who is basically, she is a medium, conversational medium. So basically means that those people that have passed on, she can, she can have a conversation with them and she can also actually put herself in the place of certain events. Very, very heavy work type of stuff, such as murders and other gang related violence types of things well I'll, I'll explain a little bit more i do in part one so basically we are talking about how so she used to be a cosmetologist and now um, she is a big lover of animals and has owned a couple of sanctuaries and uh, we started talking about first responders which she has dated several in the past when she was younger and in her 20s, basically, she uh, dated some guy that she had great, was great for three months in her opinion. You know, she thought it was going, it was going to go somewhere in her mind. I don't know. In that time, she wanted to get married. Everything was good. And he abruptly ended the relationship, I guess if you want to call that, because basically, like, we can still see her on Facebook. You know, we can't have anything. Um, I don't think that they ever, though, communicated furthermore from that point on. So she was describing me in the story that some things in life, you know, we don't find out till later on, a very long time, why certain things, you know, happened like this, because she basically never got closure. And so come to find out 20 years later speeding up now he reaches out to her and basically wants her approval for a book i'm basically telling you everything that's in part one <laughs> so it's not gonna leave much i guess to the uh the imagination in there okay so basically uh the story goes but hopefully you'll go over there and listen to it right because if this resonates with you part two is going to have coaching so speeding it up till now basically wants to get approval because he put her in his book Basically, right, she's the one who got away, blah, blah, blah. And the reason that he broke up with her is because he was listening to his mom's advice, I guess. In other words, or really cared about her opinion for whatever it was because he ended it. But she was talking shit about her, being bad, said she was no good for him, right? All these sorts of things. And that's 
that is the reason come to find out she actually ended up in a mental institution or mentally ill or always was i don't really know the whole story i'm gonna have to read the book okay so she ended up finding out eight years later, and we were just talking about that and i thought it would be perfect time to create a show basically on people being influenced by other people's opinions right outside noise so what i'm going to do is give some questions to kind of help set it up to help prevent i want to say help prevent these situations maybe from happening while it can still happen because people have to learn in their own way you know it's almost like you know we can all hear these stories and you know oh that sucks or whatever it is and you may still answer these questions and still not get it right but i want to help those of you who this resonates with in parts of healing to not maybe hopefully not have to go through something like this right okay so and then if you do, I'm going to, if you did, if you have been through this or something like that, or, you know, um, I'm going to talk about from the holistic perspective, it's not an outside the box alternative healing, which is parts of my specialty, right? I'm going to offer solutions outside of talking because this isn't necessarily a talking thing. And sometimes talking doesn't always work. And again, it's a part of, you don't just do one thing, right? And you're all fixed and solved. So who knows what all this guy did and what he went through and the, if he was doing any sort of healing or therapy during this time. Um, but let's just say, for example, because I'm going to coach through it, is that there is regret, there is guilt, all these sorts of feelings. What would I recommend him doing or somebody doing in this situation? Okay. So I actually shared a lot with you, but if I feel like this is enough for you to be able to see if it's something that you want to know about more, you can jump on over there. Okay. It's going to be um, called something like being influenced by outside noise. And it's tips and it's going to kind of give some explanations of maybe perhaps you are that person but you don't really know what, um, maybe that you are listening to somebody or how much maybe if you want to say like authority or control that they have over you because you don't really look at it like that right a lot of the stuff i talk about is me looking after now been so long and later in life looking back like and understanding oh that's why i did that right that explains it. So when you're in a situation, it's really it's it really is like you're blindfolded um, or hypnotized. I explained in one of my other videos. Okay, so that's really intriguing. I worked I worked on it quite a bit um, enough to at least kind of get some baby steps and you know just give some different pieces of advice. I suppose I should be asking for people to like my videos so it's popular, what people like, but um, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I should be at, but it's making me feel good um, that there is some sort of value if people are subscribing, right? Okay, and then I keep promising to funny comedic material, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to stay on top of that. <laughs> even if it's for like a three or five minute video. Okay, I remembered the dating thing. Okay, so I, most of my material, I put so much stuff on LinkedIn for like two years. I'm glad I did it because it reaches a different audience. And I had so much good material on there. Sometimes I want to really, really like go through it. I wish I could see it almost like all on one page, <laughs> a year's worth of material and posts. Um, Facebook only allows me to do much, do so much and for wh what and how I want to do it. And the same thing with YouTube, but I saw YouTube post pictures, um, on that community page and songs and different stuff. And I can even put videos and things over and stuff for those of you that only look at the daily list. You can look on that community list 
and reference maybe a vi video from another section that you haven't ever seen, like for instance, my fighting stuff. Okay, so the dating one, because I did some short posts on that that I really loved and really for anybody's attention span, it would be, I think it would be really um, great and valuable if you agreed with So what I want to do in this dating one, again, this, sh this shouldn't take me too long. So I'm thinking that I'm going to be able to work on this next couple of days. Just be looking for it, looking out for it. I, I usually post, I was on Facebook putting like, here's upcoming shows for the, the coming month, but I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so the dating one, if you want to jump over there, this is from my perspective. A lot of people don't know about this other side of me with my upbringing and what I haven't talked about or have talked about. Either way, there's a lot I have not talked about in there. There's a lot of stuff, including this topic. So this is from the perspective, I am not saying I'm a dating expert. I'm not even say that, saying that I technically, uh, because the bottom line is my perspective is coming from the relationships, the couple of them that I have had is, I was friends with the people, you know, and I had platonic friends, including pen pals from a young age. So it always started like that. So my dating tip recommendations are going to come from that perspective. So my tomboyish, my relating to guys, the growing up being closer, like with my dad, and then my mom's remarried husband. So my stepdad. So a lot of those things in the whole of being myself, like I said, building a friendship first, and not even knowing that I was like doing that, that was just, I would say normal to me, right? Liking masculine music, the punk rock and the hardcore. So just keep that in mind. If it's something that you would be interested in to go over to that list. And this is my, would be my approach were if I were to talk to myself back Okay, so I just explained to you part of the parts of who I was, but not only that is that, okay, being an introvert, I obviously wasn't going to be approaching people, but since I have a, dis di a different perspective now, I know how I would talk to myself and I know what I would do differently because at that time and for a very long time, I would shoot myself down before I started. So that's one of the tips I would give. Don't shoot yourself down before you've started. Okay? You create all these illusions in your mind. My favorite acronym. I don't even know that I'm using the word acronym right. But I think that's what it's called. <laughs> False evidence appearing real. Okay? Make shit stuff up in my head. So I was that lack of self-confidence, worth, esteem, you know, all this stuff like, like, like I just told you, introvert, um, the introvert stuff, and also not feeling white enough. My body is not attractive enough or ideal. And my face, not to say that I thought I was ugly, but those are the reasons that I had felt include, so it would be including my face. I, my physical, everything was not, was appealing to anybody. Okay. Or if I was being hit on by people out there, it was never anybody really that I was interested in. Okay. That is the perspective I'm coming from is that my tips are going to be things like, which I think friendship is one of the roots and foundations of, you know, something helping it a relationship to be long lasting, right? Friendship first. But my dating tips are going to be based on that, right? Building friendships, how I would talk to a person, how I would approach them, how I would, uh, if I were to do that back then. Okay. I don't know, even with the confidence now, would I have approached them? I, would, I wouldn't have been ready because I wouldn't have built my stuff or built up enough yet. So 
to advise somebody to be like, oh, you should love yourself and know there's plenty of fish out there and remember all that stuff like you've heard. I don't, I don't, th it wouldn't have helped me back then. So I'm going to do in this, just give some tips, I guess, of how I would try to coach myself and what I experienced from other people that have said, like, for example, we're just going to use male, right? A male would not approach a pretty girl because either maybe he doesn't think he makes enough money. She uh, doesn't think he's attractive. <laughs> All the things that can be applied when it's female thinking about approaching a male. But okay, um, enough money, not thinking they're attractive, not thinking they're good enough. Uh, whatever this thing is, right? You think that that pretty girl doesn't want to have anything to do with you based on all of these things. And what cracks my shit up about that is that didn't you, what happened to that whole, just be yourself and be funny. Like that can be just good enough, right? So it's not always about looks. Okay, so those are two things good enough to talk about this episode. And those are, those are the things I've worked on the next couple days, people. And I will just tune in and uh, check in with you later. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> talk to you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.